Hi, I'm driving down to Toronto right now to uh, to participate in the Soul Name Marathon with uh, Brother Rob uh, and all the uh, other brothers in Toronto, along with the uh, the brothers in the USA. And we'll hear uh, Pastor Aaron Thompson and Deacon Corbin Russell from Faith Forward to preach. Uh, it's gonna be uh, hopefully it's gonna be a uh, nice weather, and looking forward to it. And let's go. Pilgrim pathway, clouds will overspread the sky. But when traveling days are over, not a shadow, not a sigh. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Good, sing it on the third. I just want to start off by thanking Faithful Word Baptist Church, Pastor Stephen Anderson, Deacon Corbin Russell, you know, for taking care of the room, uh, all the costs and the food and everything. He's very generous of them. They've always been very supportive of us, right? And Amen. Unfortunately, Deacon Russell couldn't be here. He was really looking forward to this event, but you know, he got sick and he couldn't come in and you know pass it on. So he's not here today, but I'm sure he's looking forward to the next time. I just want to thank Pastor Aaron Thompson for coming here. This has been a huge blessing. Who's coming first is the Antichrist. That's who's coming. And when I say the whole world, Besides, like, there's atheists, right, that don't believe, you know, 10% of the world's atheists. In fact, like, 90% of the world is waiting for the Antichrist. Literally. Right. And, you know, so, I'm going to show you that today. Amen. And, you know, this seems to be, like, a controversial topic or something, but it's not controversial at all. Because, I mean, you can clearly see that David is talking about Christ. Peter tells us that it's David speaking about Christ. And people are like, well, that's not the real hell. Well, what hell is it? Is there any hell that's a good hell? Yeah. There's no such thing as a good hell. But I'll tell you what, my Savior loved me enough to go to hell for me and rise again from the dead. I'm not saying that he stayed there. I'm not saying he's still there. I'm saying that he went there for us because that is where we deserve to go. And when a soul dies, where do they deserve to go? They deserve to go to hell. Bury the likeness of our Savior's dead. Praise the water. Amen. How was soul winning? Good? It was good, yeah. Any salvation? Any salvation? We got two people. Yeah? What happened? What happened? Uh, the first guy, he was like kind of... Um, he was really confident. It's kind of funny. He was like 100% sure that you cannot know if you're going to be saved. <laughs> he was like, oh, you can never know. It's 100% yeah. uncertain, right? And then he ended up getting saved, actually. So he became 100% not no to 100% no. 100% no. Amen. That's good. That's good. Hey, Finson, any salvation? Yes, I got one. Yeah, what happened? I got this guy Max saved. Yeah. He was a bit confused on the eternal security, but right. I cleared that with him and he got saved. Yeah? Was it was it good? Yeah. You like this trip? Yeah. Any regrets? Nope. I got my first salvation this week. Yeah. Out the door. And we got a girl Dina saved today. Nice. So it's been fun. Everyone's receptive. Yeah. yeah. It's great. Yeah. So uh, how do you feel? Do you feel fired up? Yeah. Yeah. You want I want to go it again. But yeah. 
You want to bring that bring that back to your hometown and continue with it? Yes, I want to go with this my mom. So yeah. I want to we'll go out hopefully. Uh, yeah, continue at home. Be the lighter uh, in uh in your area, right? That's right. Hopefully. Tell us about soul winning. What happened? Soul winning is super. Uh, me and my partner we went out to soul winning. We got uh, got two people saved. Yeah. Uh, got a guy in his forties saved. Uh, originally I talked to him. I talked to him a little bit. He asked me if it was hundred percent. Knew 100% sure he's going to heaven, and he's, he said, "No, no one can know for sure." He's pretty confident in that. And then my soul and partner kind of stepped in and walked through, and, and uh, he ended up getting him saved. So that was super. Amen. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, later on, talked to a 19-year-old girl, and she was eating up with a spoon. She was really interested. She said, "You know, she hadn't hadn't heard a lot about Jesus in the past." So I really went and got to explain a lot about the church. And, uh, Explained it. She had some really good questions. She like she asked questions like, um, just what does it mean to believe, mm -hmm. right? So really explained that. Like, hey, when you sit in a chair, do you check to see if the chair is going to hold you up, or you just sit down, right? And uh, she really explained it well to her. She seemed to get it, and then uh, yeah, she ended up getting saved. So that was super. Yeah. Yeah. yeah are you a spirit fill right now? Oh yeah. Yeah. Soul winning high. Yeah. What do you think about people that don't do any soul winning? Get out there and do it. Yeah, do it. Okay. What about the Christians who criticize? Oh, you guys are nobody got say. What do you think about that? Uh, I think they're just lazy, and uh, it's just a way of them uh, convincing themselves that what they're doing is okay. Exactly. To soothe their guilty conscience, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what I got. <laughs> Thank you. So, how was soul winning today? Yeah, it was really good. Uh, knocked a lot of doors. Actually, we didn't knock a lot of doors. We talked to mostly people on the sidewalk. Okay. Um, really receptive. Um, we got eight. Our team got eight people saved. Yeah. Um, I love soul winning Toronto. It's Amen. receptive. You know, five years ago when I was here, it was really receptive, so I knew I wanted to come back. Okay. What do you think about the Christians who don't go soul winning, but they criticize us? What do you think about that? The churches that go don't go soul winning? Yeah, people that are Christians that don't go soul winning, but they criticize. Oh, they never got saved. Oh, yeah. Well, they're, they're, uh, either they're, they're not saved themselves, or or they just don't want to do it, so they want to feel better about not doing right, it, yeah, right? Exactly. And, and often it's people that say it doesn't work, it's because they think soul winning, the only reason is to build their church, yes. right? And it's, it's not, right? It's your being Christ, you spread the word, and pull people out of hell. Right. And it's like, you've got the wrong goal in mind if you just want to build your church. Right? Right. Jesus is going to build the church. Exactly. So you just need to get people saved. Yeah. So okay. That's, that's what I mean. You like Toronto? You are, you're happy you came here? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's, it's good. Good fellowship. Meeting you know, a lot of brothers I met last time. Yeah. And meeting new people, too. So Amen. Right? Okay. Got to meet you again. So. <laughs> Thank you. on the name of the Son of God. Do you know that you can know that you know that you're saved? Amen. It's not based on your good works. It's not based on your religion. I would just submit to you that you don't have to fear death. You don't have to be afraid of what's happening in the afterlife. He says, these things have I written unto you that ye may know that ye have eternal life. I don't have to hope that I do. I don't have to hope that I'm doing enough good works or I'm, I'm turning over enough leaves or I'm repenting of enough sin. I don't have to hope that I get the right, you know, prayers or catechism or whatever before I die. I can know that I'm saved because of the resurrection. See, the disciples emerge in the book of Acts with boldness because the resurrected, resurrection taught them something very interesting. It taught them that there's no need, there's no need to fear that. To fear death. I know where I'm going when I die. I don't have to be afraid of, of, of what's going to happen. He's not, uh, the, the resurrection gives me hope to not fear death. Amen. The resurrection not only taught them that there's no need to fear death, the resurrection also taught them that there is no need to fear defeat. There's no need to fear death, is what they learned. But they also learned that there's no need to fear defeat. Hi there. The uh, zoning marathon in Toronto is not over. Um, I'm going home, going back to Ottawa. 
I uh, just want to say that I uh, uh, want to say thank you for for every for everybody for the trip. Uh, thank you for Pastor Thompson for being here, and thank you for Faithful Baptist Church for the uh, generosity, and thank you for uh, Brother Rob Rob V and his wife Marianne for organizing it. I imagine that it, it was a uh, it was a lot of planning to do and organizing, and thanks for Bill Lead for uh, for allowing me to stay in his house, and that's about it. All right, thank you. I'll see you next time. God willing. Bye.